Good morning, my dudes. Moshkella. Do the intro. Do the intro. Do it. Intro. You know the intro. It's your boy Pokedom, aka Thrifty McShifty, Hunter McToy Finder. Here with not super fan Moshkella, looking for all the best bargains in God's own country, Yorkshire. And we've seen, we've spotted our man Mel already, straight in there. Well, I'm done, Mel. I've got another helper here with me today. Oh, you did get more of them, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Ten a piece, right? oh, I'm gonna give you more than a ten a piece, Mel. Hey, yeah, hard, yeah. Right? Don't you worry. I'll put them ones straight on front seat because I know I'll take them. Yep. Yeah, just yeah. Is that alright? Put them up front. Yeah. Put them out of the road. Xbox corner. Are they sealed? Ooh, sealed Xbox corner. I'll take them. Space chimps. I'll take that. I think. Sealed. That will take. What's Iron C? PS2, I'll take that one. Xbox Classics, Time Splitters. Interested in them. Yeah. Oh, we take them. We take the dwarf. Boys from the dwarf. The boys from the dwarf! If one of us is in a fix, the homeboys band together. That's the way it is. Have you got anything in writing? <laughs> me. Me. I've got a nice, decent sized pile there, Mel. I think so. From what I can see, unless there's no one back seat, there's not, is there? No. I think I'm done then. When are you letting me go in lock up now? No left. You're scraping barrel. Hello again. You alright? How you doing? Well, actually, last time when you left, I had some another control car. You sold it? No? I'm thinking no, but that's been two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice. That one. Oh, nice. What are you got on that one? Fierce Tiger. I'm just a sucker for old. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, know, I know. Yeah. Nico, Fierce Tiger. There we go. It's not paying straight away. <laughs> it works, it works. My security down. <laughs> I'll take that one. What you got on that one? Uh, I think it's a good for you a little bit. 15. 15? Yeah. It's same customer coming. I'm happy to you know. Yeah, yeah. I just like old RCs and I like old action figures. Yeah, yeah. 10, uh, 5. Excuse me. Can I have a look at your monkeys? Yeah. The one on the left? Can I see the one on the left? That one. Chad yeah. Valley one. Chad Valley. Yeah. Is this the older of the two? Uh, yes. It's cool. Uh, it looks a bit like you. No, it doesn't. It does a little bit. No, it, it does a little bit, Josh, I'm not going to lie. How much have you got on him? 30. 30. Uh, five shots for that. Would you do 20 on Jacko? I'll meet you at 25, yeah. Okay. Do that. Love him. Insane. <laughs> insane. <laughs> Military. Oh. I love monkeys. I do, I do. Me, me daughter took me granddaughter at Monkey World. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, the actual one from the TV program? That one? It will be Monkey World. The biggest, biggest sanctuary yeah. in the world, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Is it world or Europe? Know, it's definitely that's a big that's one. That's yeah. Like. yeah, I watched the, the program with my grandmother. Uh, thank yeah. you. My grandmother's got short red hair, <laughs> and I always say she looks. She does actually look a bit like a bit baby orangutan. She really does. So I'll take it this time to meet my grandma. <laughs> thank you. Nice, thank you. See you later. I'm walking away from Ned Noodle. Ned I know. I got as far as knowing that he's called Ned Noodle. Oh. That's it. That's all I know. Should we in there? Street life. <laughs> street life. Street trucks. <laughs> street life. Stimpsons. The Stimpsons. Do, 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 do. Street trucks. <laughs> Street trucks. What the hell? 
cool that. I'm not sure. I'm Super not cool. Oh, street trucks. That's cool. It's working right. Yeah, it's, sounds very loose though. Street trucks. Street trucks. But it better did it do. Tree chunks. What are you thinking on street sharks? Five I was thinking a hundred. Hundred there's twenty quid up for now. Hold that. Put that towards it. Go then. Put that towards it. A hundred? A hundred. No, I'm way off on that. Unless it's man not seeing. Well, what are you thinking? No idea that. Yeah. I'll just pass. I'll put them back on again. I'll just pass yeah. on. I'll pass on them. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. How much is a uh, tron? Tron quid. Second. And Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. A bit loose. How much is your car? Guys, that's handy. Have you got any more of those? No. No. There's just two of them, isn't there? Yeah, two of yeah. you. Looking at the bag where he is, it's leaking there, mate, it's leaking. Fiber. How much are these, buddy? A couple of quid a piece, mate. You got any more of that, that sharks? Only what's in that bat, in that chair, mate. That's, that's it. Don't know anything about these. Should know about them, but I don't. Hulkamania. <laughs> you have more toys to come out or just these? Uh, what they eat mate is I think <laughs> yeah. I know they're all in back out there you? Come, come on now oh, let man. me have a go What we got? I thought you were what gays are all I got street sharks me I'm up with my street sharks I don't know come on It's up to you You're paying me for them Yeah no I'm paying you now yeah. Don't worry I'm not running up all quiz do you know, I didn't see that. Not really. Oh, that you box know, they're only in that box yeah, down there. Yeah. Yeah. He's too keen to get him back down. He doesn't see what's in front of him. Yeah, I didn't see that. There's a bit on it. Come on, Arnold. Just stop and just stop. Pretty quick. Go on, then. I'm not messing around. This one, last swing. Nice. Nice street sharks. I'll give you a quid when he plays. Big fan. Them. Big fan of street sharks. What do, you, what do you say? You want a quid? Yeah, give him a quid and you want me to. That's right, isn't it? Three for that. Three for GameCube. I'll give you a fiver. I'm thinking I'm giving you a change for a fiver. Here, that's for you. Quid for me. Quid for you, quid for me. Yeah, no. Come on, X. Modern. Modern, modern, modern. Smallville comics. So. I'm looking for more sort of rec vintage sort of ones. Just seeing what there is, really, yeah. 11. Ooh. Ooh. Get out of my way. You're not allowed to buy the comics unless you also buy a popcorn maker. A popcorn Excuse maker. Excuse me. <laughs> right. See, I think, you know, while you're in bed rummaging under your bed at all them comics you've got under there, you might need a cup of tea and some popcorn, mightn't you? <laughs> oh, bug a minute. Pounds, please. Flash. Flash and arrow. We'll take flash and arrow Thank ones. Thank you. So guys, we are back inside the treasure trove. We're going to have a look at the things that we found today. But before we do, I'd ask you to very quickly give a little thumbs up to the video. It really helps the channel out, really helps build the momentum. I appreciate it massively, as you know. In no particular order, let's dive into this, see what we found. But first, shout out to Mosh Geller, my young apprentice, my young Padawan. 
who knows a lot about war and a lot about gas masks in particular. And he came across these, I think they are civilian issue. These civilian issue World War II respirators, gas masks, uh, which are really, really nice. He was overlooking someone's shoulder whilst they were looking at them. Um, so sort of waiting for his opportunity and the guy noticed. The guy that I see regular there and let him in on them. He knew about them, so they let him bound. And they're really pretty cool. Some of them have names still attached to them. Which lent me this one to bring over and show you guys on the video. Probably the best condition one, actually. they have got the cardboard box. Looks to be unused. And like I said, Josh was aware of the fact that they sell for, I think, around 40 to 50 pounds on eBay. They're 20, I think 26, maybe, for the four. But cool, I'm not going to go wearing that. Because I think there's a chance that there's asbestos in the filter. But pretty collectible, pretty cool things. Well done, Josh, on that find. So I was talking to a chap there that I see very regularly at the car boat. He was trying to sell some street sharks to me, but I didn't see the value in them, if I'm totally honest. There wasn't enough profit in them. I ended up buying this Tron figure from him for just a pound. It turns out that that's worth between 30 and 40 pounds. So that was a very, very cool find. Yeah, very, very strange. Very, very strangely. I ended up picking up two street sharks, one of which was definitely one of the ones he was showing me to try and sell me. I think a hundred pounds at the first car boat. Ended up finding two later that day at the third car boat. It's fate, baby, it's fate. And it's knocking at our door. It's fate, baby, and that's the reason you're mine and I am yours. For two pounds each. Fantastic finds. I think this one, Ripster, is it called Ripster? I think that one goes for around 40 to 50 pounds, which is good. And I'm not sure on the lobster guy. Can't remember the, the value on that one. But I'll try and throw some comps up on those. I feel like I'm missing some up from this. Oh, but yeah. Boom. Picked up this Atlas Editions Aston Martin DB5, is it? Yep, DB5. James Bond car, pretty much. Picked that up for a pound. I've had that before, and I'm not sure if I've sold it for maybe around 15. I've had these Atlas Edition type cars a number of times before. I really feel like I'm forgetting something from this haul, but I have been a lot more discerning in recent weeks because I'm running out of space in this place. <laughs> I've been buying just the best stuff that I find rather than picking up sort of everything and just going all out. So I'm going to move on to some of the things that I got from Old Boy Mel. Good guy that is Old Boy Mel. I got some fantastic stuff from him. I got four copies of this Red Dwarf Series 8 DVD box set that comes with a Corgi Mini Scutter model. Stab him! Stab him! <laughs> I haven't met Stab him. No! Stab him! Stab him! Stab him! Quick! Stab him! Ah, uh, you haven't met Stab him. <laughs> He's one of our scatters. Stab him, meet Lister's Paranoia. Lister's Paranoia, this is Stab him. <laughs> Yeah, so four copies of that. Whole bunch of games from Mel. Not sure if that's an authentic seal on that one, but Scooby Doo for the PS2. INC for the PS2. Two copies of that for the PS2. Space Chimps, which I've just noticed the seal is a little bit bust on, so maybe can't sell that as being. Well, it still is brand new, but the seal's not great. Time Splitters 2 times 3, I think. Xbox Classics Edition, which I think is a genuine seal as well because it's got the seals on the end of the cases there. One of the wrappings is a little a little torn up, a little bust up. Yes, sealed vintage games. Why would you not grab them up? I've not looked at the values on those, just, I just grabbed those up. A whole bunch, whole bunch of copies of Conan, as in Conan the Barbarian. Who are you? Conan, I have heard of you. For the Xbox, all sealed, all with the seal and hologram on the edge still. Yeah. I think I've seen this listed. I think I noticed this listed overseas for somewhere around £50, I think. So yeah, I mean, if, if that is a potential resale value, realistically, I don't know, realistically or not, but there's what, eight copies there? Two, four, six, eight. Eight copies there. So I mean, that could be £400. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's do it again throw some money at Mel <laughs> if any of those sell. I do explain to him that I found good stuff from him and that I'll pay him more as and when they sell. Obviously I've not got a bottomless pit of money to keep throwing it. Oh that's great Mel, that's really great stuff. But I am very very honest with him. Speaking of treating Mel fairly and him coming up top trumps with some great stuff, came out with three more copies of this box set that I've shown you, got from him before. So I've had four in total from him and the value on that is just incredible. And incidentally I woke up this morning to the first one of those being sold for no 
no less. Drum roll, please. The 175 pounds. Crazy. So naturally, share the wealth. Give Mel a nice chunk of change. Paper change, not loose change. And it's looking like I didn't buy very much at all this week because this is the last item. Last but by no means least, a fierce tiger by Nico. You know I've got a little bit of a penchant for vintage RC. And I think it was a buyer that I've already bought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It was a buyer that I've already bought RC from. I got a really good one from him the other week. This one, it's all very clean. I wouldn't say it looks unused, but it's very, very clean. Not tested it yet. I'm struggling to find comps on it, and I'm thinking that that is quite possibly a very, very good thing. I think I found one broken one. I forget how much it was sold for. I'm thinking that this could be a very good piece. If you remember the Nico, what was the Tiger one we got before? It went for £195. I'm thinking this could be on a par in terms of scarcity. Yeah. I'm finding it was a cool thing because when I was trying to look it up, I saw this, which is called the Caged Tiger, I think, in the background. Can't see it on this artwork. But when I brought it up on, on eBay, when I was looking for comps, it just jolted straight into my mind that I had that when I was a child. Hit me right there in the nostalgia. It was a really nice feeling to see that again. Yeah, it looks like that's it. So yeah, I'm filming this in the future, as it were. I actually picked up these items, I think, going on two weeks ago. Slacking off with the filming, unfortunately. Sorry about that. So I, I, I think that's all I picked up. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to film last week's now and pretend like it's last week. When it's not last week, it's two weeks a week later. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a thumbs up. It means a lot to the channel. It really helps build the momentum. Drop in the comments as well. What was your favourite item that you saw that you found? What's your favourite item that you found whilst out thrifting and shifting, car booty hunting? And yeah, until next time, peace out, dudes. Love you all. Ooh. No, wait. Subscribe to the channel and maybe watch one of these videos over here. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. See you on the next one.